Alright people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Monday and of course means we're using new belt trains. And for those of you who are new to my channel from uh, League, which of course went fantastically this past weekend. Thank you guys for all the support. So hopefully you guys came for the League and stay for other things, content that I bring on my channel. This is my series where uh, every weekday I duel with a different Ubel deck and uh, on the end and deal with scrub sometimes and uh, just Play you bell because of course I'm you bell mastery and you guys probably want to see some you bell related content. Hopefully, if you guys come to my channel, unless you're just here for the league, then hey, that's fine too. That's fine too. But you know, just know that you guys get more content from me. So I wonder if I'm gonna have any like on and off subscribers, like only subscribe to the uh, on the weekends, or you know, they just come for content on the weekends. I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, but thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate. It. I work really hard on my channel, and you know, I appreciate all the support that you guys can give me. And this hand's bad. It was ju it was fine. It was just fine until I freaking do you bell. I was like, oh, well, I got Armageddon Night Limit Reverse. I'm just going to go ahead and send you bell. And then bam, you know, do terror, which sucks. But I can just summon that out of my hand. No, no. And then I draw you bell too. Like, wow. What's next? I'm going to draw freaking Ultimate Nightmare. Terrible. Terrible hand. Anyway, uh, if you guys are new, then welcome. But if you guys remember last week, I was sitting there and I was like, man, where's all my revival? I'm not drawing any revival, which I really needed in this deck. <laughs> I went to go edit the deck and I noticed. I, don't run, I didn't run any revival, so I definitely went ahead and uh, edited the deck, put in some more revival, so hopefully that goes well. I'm going to go ahead and get me Emperor. Yeah, go ahead and get me Emperor. And uh, just end. So I was actually talking to, you know, the team at Avalanche, yeah, you know, one of the bigger YouTubers, and uh, he actually stated that, you know, I spammed you guys too much, I upload too much. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do I upload too much? You know, you get one, you know, of uh, the rotated series, you know. Uh, then you give I'm a wine daily duels each, I mean, each each day. I mean, do you guys think I spam you too much? I think it's just fine. And he, he said, you know, suggested I cut out I'm and wine. It seems like daily duels needs to stay in the other videos she has to say as a variety of content. But I've been wine, he said that it could probably go. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. You know, should, should oh, great. So, Infinity. So, Infinity. Should I just quit right now? I should just quit right now. I, clearly, I do not have the hand to be facing off against Infinity. And it kind of sucks that, yeah, I got to go into Infinity. <laughs> I would say, I don't know what you're doing. I don't even know what you're doing. It's like, you're not Synchro Summoning. It's not a Tuner. You're not Summoning Ultimae. You didn't pay your thousand. Like, it's, it's just going fucking fantastically right now, isn't it? So, uh, yay. Insanity. I open up like shit and I duel against Infinity. I mean, I should have known with the fucking Cyber Dragon. I was giving them the benefit of the doubt, but... Yeah. <laughs> I, I should have known. I should have known. Like, Infinity.deck, people. It's like, why is Infinity a card? <laughs> why is it a card? I was about to say, you have a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard? So you shouldn't, and you can't detach and summon the one that you summoned unless you have a one in the graveyard to begin with. Because you, you have to be able to resolve the effect to activate the effect. So, I don't, I don't even know where you're going with this. Just slap the infinity on just so I can admit defeat. You know, if I'm just going to get the regular Cyber Dragon, I don't mind. You can't do that. But whatever. You're gonna cheat anyway. You know you can do. Attach unless you can resolve effect. You know what? I don't even feel like I don't even feel like dealing with infinity and it's pretty obvious it's just gonna go into infinity, so I'll just go ahead and scoop it up. Let's not duel against infinity. How's that sound? Anyway, uh, I definitely want to talk to you guys who are new to my channel, but then I also want to talk to you who have been here for a while. Uh, I was thinking about doing some changes on uh, Vime Y and actually taking off decks that are very, you know, Levar will change setup reliant temporarily until, you know, Lexus will hopefully Levar will change will come back. If it doesn't, then, you know, that's fine as well. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, fucking number generator again. Like, what is this? Just draw you bell. Just draw you bell, you bell, you bell, you bell, you bell, you bell, like... No, no. <laughs> Good luck. There's no such thing with me. There's no such thing with me. 
the number generator is just for real today. Like, wow, it just makes me draw every single former new battle over and over and over again. It sucks. It sucks. Dick. Like, I need Armageddon Knight. Full of Shorks, too. That works. That works. I guess I'll go ahead and summon Ebel, because why not? I'll Mass Chameleon and summon Ebel, because this is just terrible. This is just wow. This is, this is almost as bad as the last hand. So it's like, wow. How, how, I, and if you guys are wondering, I run one of each Ebel. But, uh, if you're new to my channel, there's a thing that I preach, and it's called Number Generator, where uh, this is not randomized, but actually a system of number equations, which are increased to increase the odds of you drawing cards at one. So you clearly saw last duel, I run one of each Ebel, and Ebel and Terror. This duel, Terror, Ebel, Foolish, like... You'll see it often. Like, go ahead, go on Depro one. You'll see it. You'll you'll probably get your bomb lists, your warnings, your regekis very often. If I control level five or higher, if I control a level five, okay. All right. I'm I'm. You know what? I'm not gonna let that go because this man's an idiot and he didn't even let me fucking respond. R E F. Oh, he just straight up logged off. Okay, I'm about to say, because, like, dude, read it. Like, cannot be normal summon, and that's all you read. If you control level 5 or higher monster. Do I control level 5 or higher monster? No. Whatever, my hand was so ass anyway. There was no point in me even trying. Like, uh, I, I swear, people who are new here, I swear to God, it's not this bad. But then, yeah, it, sometimes it is. Uh, anyway, um... I was thinking about changing out decks that were kind of reliant on the wall chain. Definitely set up decks such as, uh... uh Labradite Ebel, Ebel Xyz, and Supervised Ebel, because, you know, in decks that requires me to send more than one Ebel, generally I don't want to uh, play decks like that. Or decks that I generally need to go into level chain often are decks that I want to have on here, just because, you know, I don't want them to be so slow and crappy just because, you know, the setup is real. So, uh, what I was thinking about is uh, I have, you know, some decks that can replace it. Uh, I w was working on an Evil Hero you about that, you know, I'm still tweaking that, uh, so I was thinking about maybe putting that on here. Uh, we have a Umber Evil deck, which doesn't rely on the bubble chain as much as you would think, because we play cards like, you know, Armageddon Knight and Mystic Tomato, uh, to go ahead and do plays like that. This hand's not terrible, but it's not great either. I'm going first. See, and this is what happens when we deal with shit on the end. <laughs> so I'm thinking about go ahead and uh, summoning Calvary and then special summoning Commander. You know what I'm saying? That sucks is I don't have anything for Calvary to do, but at least I can summon a 25. You know what? No, I'm not gonna overextend. Fuck that. I'm just gonna set. Uh, I'm just gonna set the trying to tribute. Fuck that. Fuck that. I can I can pretty much take whoever he overextends into. So. You know, I'm going first. Uh, which one's this? Oh, this is very hard. That's how it's from your action using monsters. From your deck. Yeah, great. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send three and summon a diamond bitch. <laughs> I don't like Gem Knights. I really don't. I'm not a big fan of Gem Knights. I, I, I don't like cards that allow you to fuse from deck because it's busted. Like, you're supposed to use resources, like, straight up. He's not even using any resources. He's just literally, it's a one-for-one one that you get to summon this fucking 32-ass monster and shit just because <laughs> you used, uh, Brilliant Fusion. Like, all right. Like, I guess. So, then Absorb Fusion, of course. Add a Gem Knight card, and then he can fuse again. I'm just waiting for him to, you know, overextend. He's gonna go ahead and fuse again. Why is this still on the field? Oh, it's continuous. I didn't even know it was a continuous. <laughs> yep, seven that guy. Yep, Sidian. Look at this, hey, he's just trying to go to town. I'm waiting for him to activate his, uh, his brilliant diamond effect. That's what I'm waiting on. Go ahead and activate her, Lady Brilliant Diamond. Send the Obsidian Summon, and I'll just turn to unsummon. 
of the new fusion monster I just owned. I generally just don't like <laughs> gem knights just because they really do overextend. I'm going to Toronto. Fuck that. You 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 overextend way too much. <laughs> Oh, number generator. Number generator. I get turned till he gets broke charged. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Must first refresh summon. So, I mean, fusion summon. So you can summon that. This wasn't. How do you summon this? This one. This wasn't fusion summon. This wasn't summoned properly. So how do you soul charge if it wasn't summoned properly? Summoned properly, so you can't revive it. Must be, f must first be fusion summoned. It wasn't fusion summoned. It was just special summoned. That's fine. How 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 bad is the snuggles gonna be? So this does not need to do anything. And he's gonna go ahead and fusion again. <laughs> not gonna have to be afraid of anything. You can't attack, so Okay. I'm just gonna leave it as that. Alright. Yay, drew out the nightmare again. Like number generator is ridiculous. And then you're gonna quit. God damn it! Like I didn't even get to duel any how do you even get to do anything? Like you just scooped it up. Like you're truly trying to clearly trying to go balls deep and OTK my ass. I trenched your ass and you know What was I gonna do? I was gonna go ahead and summon cavalry. Yeah, summon cavalry. Destroy summon commander. Which, of course, Commander can't attack. Then probably go ahead and activate Roar to summon. Then, uh, falling down, take him. Him over him. No, because it doesn't matter if I do that anyway. And then I would have his monster, my commander. This would be dead. And all he'd have was this, would be this left. He would be top decking. You could probably go ahead and top deck into... The thing is, he could, though, that he could simply just top deck into another fusion card. And then play his, uh, Gem Knight fusion, banish and get back. And then if he has something to go ahead and run over my 25 commander, then he would get it, of course, but... Yeah, I'll just take it hypothetically. Oh, no, because then I could, I could uh, when he declares the attack, activate my uh, thing and then keep the monster. No, because then he would die during the end phase. Oh, but then I would summon commander during the end phase again. But I think I have to have the, field, the monster on the field to resolve the effect. At all times. Anyway. I said I have an Umbergy Bell, which is, doesn't really rely on the level change despite being a rank 4 base, you know, that, just because, you know, I play Armageddon Knight and just Tomato, so they can get my sending set up fat quicker, you know. And then I, I'm actually thinking about running some uh, rank up cards to do some rank up plays, which you really don't see very often, so that's also cool as well. And, uh, so that's not bad. What else, what else? Hmm. I'm thinking about just go ahead and uh going I'm gonna get a night effect. We'll go ahead and send uh Eris. Send Eris. Eris effect and I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a Calvary. I know, I know this is blinking and it's their message, but I'll read it after I'm done recording. Go ahead and have Armageddon Knight attack. No extra deck, so I have no idea what you're using. But I guess we'll just find out. Like I said, I just want to get one decent duel in this video. I'm like 15, almost 15 minutes in. We haven't even dueled anybody. Okay. Something sacky, so. I'm prepared to deal with that. Go ahead. I thought with no extra deck, I'm assuming something sacky. Yet yeah, it's like a 50 something card deck. Like, okay. 
I didn't think he was Exodia, but Burn, I'm not surprised. Hmm. Your effect. Your effect is mandatory, so target Armageddon Knight. Cause I don't know if you're clicking him to attack or you're clicking him for your effect. I'll go ahead and take the thousand, that's fine. Highest effect. Highest effect. I need you to get Kai's effect. So it's clearly he's trying to burn me. His effect is mandatory. Target card on the field, banish it. And it's a dark, it's like a thousand. So you want to banish my Armageddon Knight? Or do you want to banish my uh, Oasis? Either or, I don't care. So choose. Which one? You need to get Kai's effect. Like, oh my god. So, what do you want to banish? Nigga! I can't even continue the duel now. You need to get Kai's effect. It's a mandatory effect. What do you want to banish? I swear to god. If you don't banish, I'm going to quit. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even, you're going to banish yourself, yourself, huh? You want to banish yourself? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take the thousand. <sighs> I just keep on drawing forms of the bell over and over again. It's fine. So, each player must pay 500 life points per normal summon, special summon set, or activate a card from his or her hand, respectively. That's annoying. Hmm. Trying to think what I want to do. Think about summoning Armageddon Knight, taking the 500, having the effect send someone else. And then start poking, because eventually I'll do more damage than he can dish out, so. I'll go ahead and take my 500. Effect. I don't really know who I want to send at this point. I guess I'll send another Eris and get her effect again. No, wait. No, I don't want to send Eris. Not exactly what I want to send. I want to send an uh, Emperor. And just blow up that back row. Especially not since I'm running more Revival. So, I'll go ahead and activate. Summon Emperor. Go ahead and have Emperor Effect. Go ahead and banish my Eris to destroy your set card. And of course, the stats are proper. So, 2,000 booty, 3,000 attack. Bending Rock. That's fine. It's like you're going to run out of resources anyway, so. I'm uh, thinking about just keeping these two. No point in. Taking the extra damage. I'm okay for right now. Cat attack. I mean, can't. <laughs> uh, if I had the wobble chain, I'd probably go into him and just send another. Uh, but it's fine. Probably send it to Eris. That's cool. I'm okay for right now. Yeah, I'm okay for now. Go ahead. Five hundred. Take a thousand. Okay. One day. Mm. Once a turn, you can banish one archery card from your hand or graveyard. Hmm. We'll have these as a key monsters. Just you two. I should probably get someone I can fucking do. Oh, but if I detach Eris, then I don't get her effect. That's why I'm going to just these two and not other side uh, detach. Mm. 
What do you mean? What happened? Tour guide. Card at one. You guys are starting to see the number generator, aren't, aren't you? You're starting to see it. Actually, the last couple of turns, just drawing shit at one. So, over and over again. So, clearly he's trying to be sacky, play his freaking one day, so... I can get rid of that, and I can just... I really, I can just go ahead and blow it up with cavalry. I'm just trying to debate on whether I want to do that or not. No, because I have Armageddon Knight, so... I was saying K to the 1000 take. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go Emperor Effect, Pitch, Blow Up, and then Attack. Because I don't care about your damn Messenger of Peace. I got Armageddon Knight, so, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and go Emperor Effect. Go ahead and Banish to blow your monster up. Unbearer can attack, which is fine. You're not flipped. You're not flipped. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to burn me. The problem is I'm going to apply too much pressure for you, so you're, end up, you're going to end up losing this duel. Attack. Attack. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Okay, take 28. I need to get more arch fiends. Yeah. And, uh, for now, I'm pretty chill. Wish I could pit's falling down. Oh, man, I could have... I could have summoned fortune tune as well. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be applying too much pressure because every single time you set a card, pay a thousand, pay one, pay one hundred. Messenger, messenger. Did I spell messenger? Mess, mess, no. It's an, it's an E, not an, not an A. Messenger, messenger. Okay. Pay one thousand. I mean, pay one hundred. You either pay 100 or you destroy the card. And anyway, if I were you, I'd pay the 100. My phone is blowing up. <laughs> Alright. So I went ahead and paid 100. Wow, another falling down. This would be great. If you're falling down, it's a great card. It's like a snatch deal. It's just I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it at all. So. So I'm just gonna have my Armageddon attack like huge. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take fifteen. My son. My son. You're just using a shitty burn deck. Do I have cowboy in here? Yep, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. So we just go ahead and go cowboy for game. Yep. Go ahead and play the theme song, people. I'm, I'll probably remember to edit it in, because it's not very often Cowboy wins for game. Bam. You, you Burn deck gets beat by Burn of Cowboy. Put that in the headlines, newspaper style. Love you, Cowboy. You don't, you, you're not a, when you're there, you should be there. God, you're putting that work. No complaints. So, that's it, Juju. You lost. That's what you get for playing some shitty burn deck. I just completely stopped getting burned by this. I just stopped start I just stopped playing shit from my hand. <laughs> Juju. I'm gonna put HH. It's fucking HH. I thought that was like another threatening roar or something. Thank you. So, like I said, I'm maybe, like I said, I want, I want to know if I'm spamming you guys too much, if you guys are like, you know what, you know, cut out the, the vitamin Y for now, because like I said, I'm, I'm without the Volvo Chain, I just can't do the plays that I usually do, and decks that uh, I would usually want to do. Like I said, this deck is okay, 
and uh, cosmic Yubo is okay, and I wouldn't detect that deck out anyway. But like I said, I'm gonna work on it, make it try to make it at least more Yubo involved, then I'll probably still like it or don't mind it being on Diamond Y. Uh, but the decks that you know rely on setup with a lot of the level chains, such as uh, 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 Labradite, Yubo Seas, and Supervise, we can typically take them off. I can do, uh, I can try out. Um, Damn, I just said it. Evil Hero Yubel, uh, Umbra Yubel, and then I can do like the return of like Yubel, uh, Yubel and Zector, so I can do that. And that deck doesn't really rely on the Volvo Chain. I really, you know, go into excuse that deck, you know, with the Armageddon Knights and Dark Rivers and shit. If I need to, I can just, you know, you know, run Mystic Tomato in that deck, or, you know. Mystic Tomato can't summon Centipede, though, so that sucks, but, uh, can summon my one Dragonfly. Or I can I, or I can run Mathematician to send, like I said. There's not a lot of sending. It's literally just, you know, send Yubel if I need to, and then send Horn and go to town. So, uh, like I said, I could probably return Yubel's Actors, Umber Yubel, and uh, Evil Yubel as replacements, temporary replacements for the others until we see the next list, and hopefully they bring Lalo Train back. If not, then the snuggles are real anyway. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm Why. Like I said, I apologize. I apologize that sometimes you just can't. You just can't get a good duel, but, you know, at least I got to show off you about our things a little bit. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with, uh, I'll leave it to you guys. Like I said, uh, I'll probably, st uh, still continue using Cosmic U-Bell. Uh, I'm not, no, it's not Cosmic U-Bell. Uh, Labradite U-Bell until I hear from you guys. And then maybe this upcoming Thursday when it's webcam duels, I could use one of the two decks. I don't know. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Just know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright people, thanks for watching.